What's up, Gemini? What's crack a lacking? All right, guys, you ready to do this reading? All right, Gemini. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> April 2019. You guys ready for this? All right, so we are here today to do your April 2019 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support, kindness, love, loyalty, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are the best people ever. You know you're my squad. I love you guys. Thank you. All right. Let's get into it. So, Spirit Guides in the Universe, this reading is for the Zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please allow me to be their clear, a clear channel for their messages. Thank you so much. All right, Gemini, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my general readings, it is a nine card spread. It's three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview, and I'm gonna be doing an extended reading on Vimeo. The link will be below. All right, let's check it out. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for April 2019? Come on, Gemini, big money. Let's do it, let's do it, folks. Let's see what we got. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, so three cards for recent past for Gemini, please. Three cards for recent past for Gemini. Ooh, I'm splitting the deck here and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at all these options. Gemini. What is this? Y'all got y'all got choices to make. Y'all got decisions to make. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, so the Seven of Cups can be a card of confusion, but also having like a lot of choices. Like it's like the buffet of life. Okay, behind cup number one lies. Da -da -da -da, you know, it's one of those things. Um, <laughs> I feel like Gemini. There, there was some confusion. You're either making a choice or decision about something you've been struggling with, like really riding the struggle bus. You see these guys riding the struggle bus, okay? Um, something about that you're trying to get clarity on so that you can make the right choice. Also, though, Gemini, if this relates to like, it could be actually, it doesn't have to just be love. It could be anything in your life. You were like, people were like fighting over you, okay? So if this is like, like love, right? You were single as a Pringle. And then all of a sudden it was like 27 people are lined up to try to take you on a date. Okay, so you're having to try to make the right choice. You're trying to narrow it down. For others of you, Gemini, it's like you've been looking and searching and trying to figure out what you want to do with a job. Money, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And then all of a sudden, you know, you get four job offers in a week. And so you have to make a choice between them. It's something like that. Okay. All right. Let's keep it going. So Gemini. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So let's do three cards for recent past for Gemini. Three cards for recent past for Gemini. And behind card number one, we have the Page of Swords. News, communication, another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's more to it, though. Let's go on with it. What else do we have? The Page of Cups. <laughs> ah! Two wands reversed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So present energy for Gemini. Present energy for Gemini. Justice. <laughs> Interesting. The magician reversed. Oh, okay. <laughs> the knight of swords reversed. Oh my gosh, Gemini. What is happening? Did somebody manipulate you? Did you find out about it? Oh my God, what's happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Near future for Gemini. Near future for Gemini. What's happening? What's happening for Gemini? Ooh, six of swords reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed, perfect. Emperor reversed, what? Look at the bottom of the deck. Temperance, you guys, be patient. Be patient, just chill. Take the chill pill, okay? This is patience, this is healing, this is divine guidance. Your cup will be overflowing by the end of the month. Just bear with me, okay? I see what's happening, and it's not quite as cute as we would have hoped, but it's cool, it's totally cool. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius also. Okay, all right, so let's keep our temperance card out here. We also have the king of pentacles at the bottom. You know what I'm gonna say, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be a husband, could be a boss. All right, so Gemini, recent past, page of swords, page of cups, two of wands reverse. <laughs> Honest to goodness, some of you guys are like, there's offers, like I said, offers coming in, and I don't think you want either of them. You're just like, eh, you know, take it or leave it, it's, eh, you know, you're not really sure about it. Um, Two of Wands reverse. 
I almost feel like somebody's trying to keep you, Gemini, they're trying to keep you somewhere, right? And it could be more than one person, place, or thing trying to keep you right now. They want Gemini, okay? And so, again, you could have offers on the table from both an air sign and a water sign. Um, it doesn't have to be those signs, though. That would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for my noobs. Um, it doesn't have to be, though. It, it could definitely be, you know, that you're you're getting communication here, okay? It could be an apology, it could be an offer of reconciliation, it could be a small offer, and you're just like, nah, I don't think so. You know, you're taking your time making that decision as we saw with the Seven of Cups when we split the deck, right? You don't want any more conflict in your life, Gemini. You're like, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to deal with you, you know, petty quarrels, arguments, fighting, bullshit, not you know, so you're being really choosy here. But I think this person, place, or thing is pretty persistent. Um, for some of you, like I said, there's two or more, okay, opportunities presenting themselves to you. They both seem viable, but as they're both pages, I wonder how viable they actually are, okay? Now, they're there, they're viable. This, this, this is a well-meaning, you know, situation, both, or the one that's combining into this, you know, there's, there's honesty, there's clarity, there's... Um, you know, communication, there's also some sort of like, you know, like sweetness involved in this. Um, but again, it could be, you know, and we'll clarify this, it could be that you've already gone down this road, Gemini, and you're like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm not, no, no. I, I already know what happens. I know what's at the end of this long winding road for me and it's bullshit, right? So you're rejecting that. Okay, present energy, Gemini. Justice could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, could be getting balance in your life. Some of you are going to have legal matters going on. They go in your favor, which is outstanding. Okay, um, but again, we've got the, you know the, the justice has this sword here, and the sword always is truth and clarity and communication. Okay, so or taking that sword and cutting away bullshit to see things clearly to get balance back in your life. Now, for some of you, this is balance in a relationship. So some of you, this is balance at work. And again, we have a legal matter. It's like the judge or lawyer or somebody seeing right through the case and saying, okay, well, I see Gemini's in the right. I know what's going on. I, I, I'm not blindfolded to this, you know, and ruling in your favor, okay? So it's, it's favorable, it's favorable. And it's upright, so this is very good. But in the right smack in the middle of the reading, Gemini, I got this magician reversed. I can't stand that card. I can't stand it. There's only one card I can stand less, and that is the emperor reversed, and that is also forthcoming. So again, magician reversed, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, bullshitter. Bullshitter, bullshitter, okay? They don't have to be any of those signs to be a bullshitter, but you know what I'm saying. Magician Reverse is smoke and mirrors. He's the used car salesman telling you the 1987 Pinto for $7,000, okay? It's in mint condition. It's not in mint condition. The transmission fell out of it and you know it, you know? That's what I'm saying with this Magician Reverse. Total bullshit, okay? Trying to make something appear to be beautiful and great and fabulous and it's not and you know it. You know, like I said, you've already been down this path. You've seen the clearly what you need to see, Gemini. You've already seen it, you know, and now they're trying to act like you didn't see it. Oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, the great and powerful Oz. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's, it's literally that. So be careful, Gemini, that you're taking everything that you see, hear, touch, taste, and feel with a grain of salt, all right? You need to make sure that you're getting truth that you're getting, uh, you're seeing everything very clearly, okay? If you've got the blinders on, take the blinders off, all right? I want you to be very um, aware of your surroundings and of the people around you right now. It's important, all right? You don't wanna get duped. Knight of Swords Reverse. Now, some of you guys are gonna see right through the bullshit. You're gonna, you're gonna take that sword, cut that bullshit away, and Knight of Swords Reverse. Could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be you. Knight of Swords Reverse is gung-ho on something. They go full force. They are the Gemini, the epitome of Gemini, right? That's what we are. We, we take no prisoners, okay? But when that person is reversed, that's like pumping the brakes on an 18-wheeler. You know? Hold it up. You know what I mean? So something is like stopping you in your tracks, Gemini, or you're stopping someone else in their tracks, Okay? no longer valiantly, you know, galloping towards this situation or person. You're, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, seven of cups, now there's like choices to make here because you're like, I don't know about this. Near future, Gemini, <clears throat> excuse me. Near future, six of swords reversed, five of pentacles reversed, emperor reversed. 
<sighs> okay, so um, again, we have some of you Geminis going back into the Five of Swords energy, which is unfortunate, but sometimes it has to happen, right? Sometimes we need closure on situations. Sometimes we have to face conflict. It's part of life. We can't have, you know, every day be sunshine and roses and, you know, rainbows and butterflies as much as people would like to, to make you think that way. That's great and all. And yeah, a good portion of your life should be like that, sure. But the reality of the situation is reality of life is that that's not the way things go all the time. So sometimes we have to go back and face our demons so that we can deal with them, close them out and move forward, okay? Because something here, Five of Pentacles Reverse, was making you feel impoverished in some way, left out in the cold in a relationship, uh, financially impoverished, okay? For some of you guys, this is gonna be Uncle Sam, Emperor Reversed. You have to file your taxes, oh my Lord, and then, you know, you gotta revisit it, even though it sucks, you gotta pay the taxes from last year. Do you know what I'm saying? It's something along those lines. It could be something that simple. They could also be something where it's a relationship with another human being, you know, or or giving it the job that one last ditch effort before you throw in the towel and say, no, you're just an asshole, Emperor Reversed. You know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna suck it up, even though you made me feel like crap all over before, Five of Pentacles, I'm gonna suck it up and I'm gonna try it one more time. Some of you guys just have to do that and it ends up biting you right in the butt, Emperor Reversed, okay? Could be an Aries, could be a bad boss, could be a twin flame. We got the twin showing up in the reading, you guys. Ah, I know, a lot of you guys are like, fudge, sickles, you know? I know, it sucks, but they're, uh, guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. <laughs> Tell a friend, because they are shady. They're shady as shit. All right, so clarifying this page of, uh, page of swords, the messenger, we have the star and the three of swords. Okay, now I will keep you posted, <laughs> keep you uh, reminded that this is the after tarot deck, so it's a little different of a message than the original deck, okay? So a message coming in, I want to heal the situation. I want to make the swords fall away from the broken heart, all right? I want to fix things, and this could have already happened. Gemini's could be happening in the beginning of the month, all right? Somebody wants to heal something with you, heal a broken heart more than likely, or if it was third party, and I have to say, you know, a love triangle, then they're trying to <clears throat> make amends, okay? Make amends, it's a message coming in. That person was sorry that they put you in a third party situation and they would like to resolve things, okay? Let me see. If you were involved in someone in a third party situation, Gemini, um, this person could be watching you, Page of Swords, especially if they're an air sign. And it's, uh, you know, we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's all air, 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 okay? Um, they could be watching you and seeing that you have healed and that you're moving on. And then at that point in time, they come in as the Page of Cups to make an offer. Small though it may be. Let me see. Page of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Cups. Queen of Swords reversed. You might have blocked them. They may have blocked you. Let me see. Or you have not cut this person out fully, Gemini. I gotta pull another one because, oh, fuck. Everybody's favorite player, the Seven of Swords is back, all right? Getting caught up in some bullshit. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, if this already happened, you may have, ha I'm telling you, you may the Queen of Swords reverse. She's not taking the sword. She's not cutting the bullshit. She's not taking off the blinders. She's like, oh, I love you though. And I love this job. And I just, I, I know things are gonna be better the second time around, the third time around, the 18th time around. I just know it, you know? And then what happens? <laughs> you know, you catch them square and freaking lie again. This person's bullshitting you, Gemini. They're a bullshitter. Like I said, Jim Bob's used car sales, you know, at your service. Come on. Two of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. I don't lie, folks. I don't lie. They already came back for a lot of you guys. They sure did. Leave a like, please. If the person <laughs> came back around in your life already, like Jim Bob the used car salesman and tried to sell you shit on a stick for $27, okay? <laughs> and 99 cents. Because they did. I know it. I know they did. They wanted to heal it for with you. They, I know they did. I know it. <laughs> All right, and if it wasn't a love relationship, it could have been a friendship, it could have been a family member, it could have been a job. Like, please stay, Gemini. You're our most valuable employee. We need you. And you're like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll stay. I mean, it's not that bad. And then it's like, yes it is. You're blind to yourself. All right, <laughs> present energy for Gemini justice, justice, 
What is that? Okay, Nine of Pentacles, reverse. Let me pull one more. Let me pull one more. Five of Cups, you know, and I think some of you guys were just on the brink of recovering too, just on the brink. And if you let this person back in, it's like, bam, they put you right back in this energetic space or this financial space where you were like, ah, now I don't feel secure anymore. It's, it's about security and stability, right? The Nine of Pentacles, you know, you guys know what I call her. She's Beyonce to me. She's, she's got her shit together, right? She really does. Um, but, you know, when you're trying to get balance here, it's like you're still, it's a weird energy, Gemini. You're still you're still giving too much and not receiving, all right? So in an effort to get balance in your life, you're like, you know what? Instead of pulling back on a situation and um, taking some time out for me to take care of myself, to take care of my finances, to take care of my life, whatever that is, you're like, I'm just gonna give to everybody. I'm gonna give everything I have to everything I have. And guess what happens? You end up five of cups, you know? You, you end up with cups spilled because you can't, you can't do that all the time, Gemini. I know life seems like that sometimes where you have to do it, but take it from me. <laughs> take it from me. It ain't like that, okay? Now, the other situation, though, is too, if it's the person from the past, Gemini, I'm sorry I keep talking about this person, but they're here and you know it, and I can't, I can't not talk about them because they're sitting right here in front of me. Libra wants you back. All right, they realize they lost you, they fucked up. There's cups that have been spilled, but there's two of cups. The two of cups doesn't go away. All right, it doesn't have to be Libra either. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, got a lot of signs here. Um, Aries too, um, and Sagittarius, everybody's here. So the thing is, you know, some of you guys are gonna try to get balance and go back with this person, or you're trying to do that now. Just saying, you know, you are, or that's vice versa, they're trying to do that with you. Um, trying to see the bright side of things, which is great, Gemini, it really is, but please understand this magician reverse in the middle. My cards don't lie, folks. You, you see that? You see that four of wands reverse? You see that marriage that they promised you, Gemini, or that very happy, stable place? That, that, that setting up deep roots and a solid foundation in your life? You see that thing that they said they were gonna give to you, Gemini? That was a fucking lie. Okay, just take them on Mori because seriously, they need a lie detector at this point. Knight of Swords reversed. Ooh, what happened? Something jumped out. Well, la -dee da there's your emperor. Okie dokie. Well, that's pretty clear. You know, pulling the brakes on a boss, on a twin flame, on, it could be a husband, okay? Um, on somebody that was once dominating you in some way. Pumping the brakes on your investment in that person. Okay, it could be your dad. Your mom too can present it as an emperor. You don't have to be, the, the physical sex doesn't have to be male or female in tarot. You guys, you know, it's a, it's a domineering energy, the emperor. You see him as masculine, but it could be any, it could be, it's anything that had a force over you, a dominating force, somebody that you were submissive to, a job that you were submissive to. Okay, you submit to the emperor. Emperor runs empires. Maybe you got knocked off your throne, Gemini. Like you were sitting like the emperor. You're trying, you're clawing your way out of the situation and somebody came in and took that emperor title right away from you, pulled that rug right out from underneath you. Six of swords reversed in the near future for Gemini. What have we here? The chariot. So you might have had to go back and get a taste of what was exactly what you'd already been through, it looks like. You know, you might have had to go back and give it that one last ditch effort at Gemini just because out of the goodness of your heart, that's what you do, right? We're Geminis. We're the lovers. We love people. <laughs> so we try. Um, so you went back to it and then you decided immediately, you're like, no, mm -mm, no, chariot moving forward, moving on. You've seen it now. You've seen what's going on. You know what's up, okay? Um, chariot could be a Cancerian zodiac sign as well. Travel could be indicated too. Um, if a trip was delayed for you, Gemini, for whatever reason, um, maybe your boss wouldn't let you go, to, go okay, on vacation. You didn't have the funds to do it, something like that. Or you were stuck in the shitty relationship so you couldn't like travel to go see your family or friends. Um, you're getting rid of that conflict so that you can uh, travel. Others of you, um, you, you know, you're traveling back to see a person at a distance that caused you the five of swords, the, the, the grief, 
the conflict, all right? So you're literally getting in your car or getting on an airplane or getting on a boat and going to see them, even though you know they cause you problems. Five of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Wands. Now again, Gemini, when I say you have options coming in, when I say that you have people fighting for you that want you, you don't let this shitty emperor reversed, this shitty magician reversed, treat you like this. Because Gemini, you got people fighting for you, kicking some ass to have you, okay? That's what's happening here. That's literally what's happening. They want Gemini. And, and, and whether you know it or not, you are a very valuable asset to any sort of relationship in your life. Whether that be love, work, friendship, it doesn't matter. You are a true asset, Gemini, and they're gonna fight for you. And if they don't feel like they're gonna fight for you, which they are, then trust me, there's gonna be about four or five other people or jobs fighting for you, okay? Emperor reversed. Eight of Pentacles, one more. King of Swords reversed, interesting, and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. All right, you're gonna see a return on your investment, Gemini, after you take this sword, because right now you're sitting like this, okay? You take that sword, you cut out anybody who's narcissistic, manipulative, controlling, and just in general an asshole, okay? You cut them out, and then you, you keep working on your craft. You keep working on your hobby, keep working on yourself and your life, okay? It's time for you to focus on your life, Gemini. Solar return's coming up soon. You know what that means, turning over a new leaf, right? New things, new experiences, new jobs, new places, new, new everything. So. All right, Gemini, we are going to unleash the beast on Vimeo. I don't even know where the hell we're headed. Let me see. Okay, so let's look at, we're gonna look, take a hard nosedive into the person from the past, okay? Um, we're gonna look at the job situation for Gemini as well. And we're gonna look at what's coming up for those of you who are wise enough to leave the narcissist behind in the ancient history books and see what's coming in for love. So person from the past, that wants to return, new love coming in for those of you that choose not to return to the past, and the job situation for the month of April. All right, my Gemini friends, I love you so very dearly. If you are interested in a personal reading, please email me at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. For those of you that are gonna watch the extended, thank you in advance very much, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.